All right guys, so today we're gonna do a real quick video. And today I actually have some of my hatchling and young turtles outside uh, doing a little cleaning of their tubs. Uh, during the winter, these guys live in tubs and then during the summer, spring and fall, they're gonna be outside. But for right now, these guys are just in these like little easy to clean tubs. Right now I have them outside and just kind of clean them out, let them get some natural sunlight and we'll go through and talk about each one. So starting here, we have the Chinese box turtle who I already cleaned his water he was kind enough to leave me that which how does that come out of that that's like the size of your body dude but i really love these guys chinese box turtles are awesome awesome pet turtles uh, they are being captive bred and they're just gorgeous i mean they're one of the prettiest box turtles in the world um, and thus are highly sought after and in their home range um, I, I believe they're endangered or threatened um, somebody that's a bit more knowledgeable on those can chime in in the comments and let me know. But I really love this turtle. Such an awesome animal. Uh, always been easy to care for. Eats like crazy and poops like crazy. So uh, I really like my Chinese box turtle. The growth on this turtle has been amazing. Uh, I keep it aquatic. And then as it gets older, I'm gonna make it um, kind of transition to a more terrestrial setup with you know, still a lot of water, but it'll have the option to go on land and eventually overwinter outside because these are a cold tolerant turtle. Next, speaking of cold tolerant turtles, this is a hatchling spotted turtle. This one was produced by my buddy Charlie and he sent it up to me and just, I mean, look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful turtle. Awesome, these guys are really, really shy. Um, but you can see it just has all those amazing spots on the shell, what spotted turtles are known for. And this is another turtle that, like a lot of turtles, unfortunately, um, is getting a bit more rare to find in the wild. That's why it's really good that people are actually captive breeding spotted turtles a lot. Uh, they captive breed pretty readily from what I understand. And I'm just really glad that I have a couple spotted turtles now I can use for education and talk about um, the impact of deforestation, habitat destruction, and over collection here in my home state of Georgia. And really awesome animals, spotted turtles, I love them talking about turtles that are not rare. I have a couple of these kind of interesting looking red-eared sliders. Um, I had these for a, a side project and these were actually from my buddy Fred and uh, really, really pretty red-eared sliders. They have a bit of a, a more of a yellow stripe behind the eye. So I don't even know if these are pure red-eared sliders. They might be mixed with Cumberlands or who knows what, but I mean, they're they're pretty attractive. I, you know, as far as red-eared sliders go, they're really pretty, uh, one of the most, common turtles in the world thanks to uh, what people have done and making them you know one of the number one animals in the pet trade uh, the red-eared slider can live just about anywhere and you know a lot of people release these which they should not do and they're such a hardy turtle they can just you know survive just about anywhere on earth so uh, i do have a couple of them and they're really attractive so they're you know fun to mess with over here i have a couple yearling turtles now one of these um, this one is a yearling loggerhead musk turtle. Hatched this one out last year. And you know, some grow quicker than others. This one, you know, this is typical of what you might see a yearling in the wild. And then this is a yearling striped neck musk turtle. And it's a bit bigger. And which is funny because typically striped necks grow a little bit slower than the, than the loggerheads. Um, and this one is about the size of what a two year old would be in the wild. Um, the sibling to this turtle I actually sent to my buddy Grover because he is the man when it comes to striped neck musk turtles. And uh, I just really wanted him to have one. All right, on the subject of musk turtles, these are captive bred musk turtles. We've got a stink pot in the corner there. And then the rest of these are little tiny loggerheads. And they're just so cool looking. I love the loggerhead musk turtles. They're just such interesting little characters. And you know, these um, are a mix of ones that I hatched and that Fred hatched and just beautiful little musk turtles. Some of these guys, you know, hatched here, you know, and I found them in my pond and have the really cool bright orange or bright pink on the bottom that the musk turtles are known for. And you know, some of these, like the ones from Fred that have a really, really ornate carapace actually have a really pale plastron. So they're a bit different from each other, which I like. And it's gonna be cool to watch these guys grow up. And here soaking in this tub is, and pooping in this tub, sheesh. Um, so these guys are 
cherry heads from my buddy Charlie Moorcroft and it's important to soak your tortoises every single day and that's what I'm doing. These guys are getting a morning soak plus some natural UV of being out in the sun while I kind of clean some tubs and keep an eye on the other turtles and tortoises that are out here. Um, you know these guys are just they're still really really shy. Um, I don't really mess with them a lot but they do eat really really well and I really love these guys. I thank Charlie again just for sending me amazing cherry head tortoises. These have really become some of my favorite animals to keep and they make excellent pet tortoises. For anybody interested in a pet tortoise, I highly recommend the Redfoot and cherry heads. And, you know, like I've mentioned before, always buy captive bred and luckily these guys are being captive bred pretty common. Now, overall, what I do is I change out the water. I scrub with a toothbrush, anything like algae and stuff that builds up. You can see in the musk turtle, Thing. A little bit of algae is built up from the lights inside. And then I also distribute some of these aquatic plants. Uh, these guys like to hide in that stuff. So for example, with these little musk turtles, we're just gonna put some of these aquatic plants in here, gives them something they can kind of climb on, play around in. You know, I think I've showed this in another video already, but it just makes them feel overall more comfortable. And you know, comfortable turtles are healthy turtles. And so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here with this striped neck and loggerhead musk turtle give them some plant life helps keep them happy luckily these <laughs> these two are the ones that nobody's pooped in yet <laughs> you know the thing with the spotted turtles is in their natural habitat there's a lot of like duckweed and aquatic plants and that's you know one of the things you really want to give these guys is a lot of cover that's what that you know that spotted shell is made to be hiding underneath plants and break up their outline so if you were to take some plants and kind of put it over the top of this turtle, for example, let's say we just kind of crowd him with a bunch of aquatic plants and imagine that, you know, he's on a darker background. Let's see. Yeah, it would be at a distance, you know, it might be hard to know that there is a little spotted turtle in there. You know, these guys, it's, it's exactly what they're made to do. They live in a lot of times, you know, very tannic water. Um, and that dark water habitat, you know, that black shell just disappears in there. I've gone looking for spotted turtles before and in, if they're basking and they drop into the water, you're not gonna see them. I mean, they're just gone, which is really, really cool. I, I think it's such an awesome adaptation. Spotted turtles are so, so cool. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick video, show you a little bit on how I do this, share with you some awesome little baby turtles baby tortoises and um just enjoying what is really oh there's a woodpecker and it's gonna be really fun to watch these guys grow up and be able to share them with you uh on the channel uh leave a comment below which one of these is your favorite and i will shout you out in the next video as always take care be good to each other peace